Hi team, have a good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Mainframe DB2 Tutorial. Today we'll cover DB2 commands. Let's just start. So, first we need to understand why we use this command. So, DB2 commands are used for the many purpose, like it's control and maintain the DB2 subsystem. When you try to understand commands type environment in DB2, so it has a several types of command that you can use to complete the database administrative task. So here DB2 display commands provide a snapshot of the state of the DB2 subsystem. So it is the main purpose. Next. Why, we, why do we need them? So we need because it has a problem solving and performance related issue. So it's always help us to understand what was problem occurred in DB2, how to resolve it and all. Comes to our next slide. Here we'll understand the authority. When you want to execute this command at that time, you need some authority like sys opr authority, sys ctrl authority or sys control authority we call it as sys control authority. Next one is the sys adm authority. So sys adm authority and all it's a very high privilege access that means uh, like a system programmer system administrator administrator has that access when you have this all access after that you will uh, able to execute all display commands so we need this uh, authority actually this is very uh, important topic so in this session if we discuss so it's uh, take too much time uh, so i go through uh, db2 commands we'll discuss uh, this sys uh, authority or sys authority and all authorization which we needed in a separate session so we'll explain you later this time you need to understand if we have this authority after that we will able to run display command. In this slide we will discuss first display command. So this command is used sorry this command is issue like display command is issue for a GOS console. GOS console and if we talk about in mainframe so we'll issue this command in db2 command panel in TSO. So this display log command display information information about log status of log and uh, also um, also it's a provide like which uh, log is active how many logs are offloaded in db2 or in in a specific subsystem so this is command hyphen db2 sorry hyphen this log so i attach this uh, screen print uh, when we ran uh, in our system is the similar here we need to understand log copy one has seven uh, log copy one has data get full at 73 percent and copy two active log is also 72 percent full if you are running dual log and the percentages are different but uh, here is a single log that's why we got this 
if uh, next thing we'll check here like uh, how many logs are offloaded so full logs to be offloaded 0 of 12 that means our system running fine so offloaded task is available also it's provide when uh, when we issue this command date and all next uh, thing we need to understand this message type dsn line 022 i so whenever uh, it's uh, end with i previous it's also i end with i that means it's a informational message so here display log hyphen display log normal completion that means display log is uh, running fine in db2 in this next slide we'll discuss buffer pool in db2 so buffer pool we use hyphen this bp p -O -L pool command in jos console or tso command panel this command can be issued uh, in dsn session also so display the it's the display the current buffer pool status it shows the current status of buffer pool or it shows like one or more active or inactive buffer pool also hmm. so all uh, here i attached uh, output so in last uh, line we'll see like hyphen display buffer pool it's a normal completion like it's also working fine in additional i attached one thing like we have a 4kb page in buffer pool 4kb 8kb 16kb 32kb buffer pool we'll discuss these topics later this time you need to focus like commands only display commands so we understand what was the buffer pool display commands in this slide we'll discuss display database db2 so display database command display information about the status of database it shows the status of database and associated table space and index space also in xml table space uh, log table space index table space also we are able to see when we ran this uh, command hyphen this db then we'll understand so same thing if we want to run hyphen this db command and uh, and want to see the database uh, was present in our system and also we need the authorization like all this authority we need we need to get ccdm authority is the high privilege access cctrl cop cctrl and all in this slide in this now we'll discuss a display ddf db2 so this is a very important command in a db2 after issuing this command we'll get the information regarding the status of distributed data facility so ddf stands for distributed data facility this command also display information that is related to start of ddf like when our ddf it, it started huh? it start such as like a location name it shows lu name location name lu name ip address domain address all it shows what was the sec port and all so in this last message it shows like display ddf report completed that means it's, it's running fine so our command is hyphen this ddf same thing we'll run this command in uh, gos panel and mainframe db2 panel 
In this slide, we'll discuss display thread DB. So display thread DB, it's also very important because it's it's give information about the thread, whatever thread present in our system. So we'll use this command hyphen dis thread. So distributed thread are those thread that have connection with the remote location. You always remember connection with the remote location. And uh, display thread is also important. I told already. So after issuing this command, we'll get all the information like what, what which threads can be active, inactive, in doubt, and postponed. So all information we got after running this display thread command. Now, thank you all for watching this video. If you want more video in DB2, then please subscribe and uh, comment uh, this uh, channel and this video uh, and also mention like uh, which uh, which topic is your favorite topic in db2 and uh, if you have any issue like related to this video and uh, any doubt then please ping me in my linkedin id or uh, otherwise uh, Ping here also in, in this comment section and uh, thank you all thank you so much bye have a good day